As a today's app developer, should you go to college or should you be self-educated and possibly if you are currently in college, should you drop out? Hello, welcome to Reso Coder, where you are getting prepared for real app development by building better, faster, more stable apps and also getting information like this. So subscribe and hit the bell if you want to grow your coding skills. Internet has really changed everything because before you had to go kind of to college to get educated, to get the knowledge which was over there in the books, in the libraries and in the professors who were professing. But now when you have internet, you can really, believe it or not, you can learn everything you need over there. You have free resources, you have cheap resources, and even the resources which are not really cheap are still costing less than the tuition fee. If you are in the US, if you are from Europe, you have already paid for your tuition fee mostly uh, by paying taxes, sadly. But if you are in the US and you have to pay tuition fees, you have to even account for those. And uh, if you think about it, even if you buy courses in the value of $1,000, you're going to learn so much from them and what is $1,000 going to buy you as uh, for college? Well, not much. But of course, there are some benefits to going to college. It's just that if they really outweigh their, the detriments of going to college or if they outweigh the benefits of being self-educated. And no matter if you choose to go to college or to self-educate, in app development, you will still need to have a drive for learning even after you deem yourself to be either good enough if you are self-educating or after you graduate if you go to college, of course. And what do you think? Are you going to be more driven to stay at the top of your app development game if you go to college or if you self-educate? Well, if you think about it, you will probably have more drive to learn more even after finishing your education, sort of, if you deem yourself to be good enough, if you self-educate. Because you were doing that stuff all along. You were self-educating, you were proactively looking for resources from which to learn, you were proactively uh, looking to really step your game up. Whereas if you are in college, not all of the people, of course, but if you are in college, you are sort of spoon fed the knowledge which you should know. You are in a, you have a curriculum which you have to follow. You can pick and choose some parts of it, of course, but still you have a curriculum and you have then some tests which you need to pass. Therefore, in college, you can get by by not really being the best. And then when you exit college, you are going to be um, presented with the reality that you actually have to be the best if you want to get that job or if you want to get all of those freelance clients. And if you are self-educating, you will know that all along. And it's not that college students do not know that they have to be at the top of their game if they want to succeed as app developers. But when you are self-educating, you are presented with the harsh reality of the world every single day. Because, well, when you go to college, you still have that degree in the back of your mind and you think, all right, I will have a degree. I will do something with that degree. I will get a job. It's probably not really true, but you still have that sort of a comfort at the back of your brain. But uh, when you do not go to college, you cannot even delusionally rely on the college degree providing you some secure job, so to say, because you will have none. You will have none. You really have to stick to learning and you really have to do your best to learn. You cannot just get by because, uh, well, even if you get by in college and you graduate and you get your degree and you just were getting by all along, you're not going to do much in the marketplace, right? Unless you start self-educating, at which point, why did you even go to college if you have to self-educate after paying for college, if you have to pay for college, if you're from the US, and uh, if you self-educate, you just do not have that fake comfort in your head. So you really have to do your best. 
there is no other option. Of course, college degrees are even being degraded in their value. And of course, I'm speaking about app developers, not necessarily about some data scientists or other professions. But as for app developers, the value of college degree is not that huge anymore because companies are hiring people not based on their degree, but based on their outcomes and based on their portfolio. And some companies even have really uh, like perfected coding interviews, which you have to pass, for example, Google, Facebook, and so on. So they're going to select you based on your results, not based on your piece of paper, right? So really, I am an example of this. As I speak, I have a bunch of clients contacting me always. I'm working with a bunch of clients. I was even proposed with job offers at few points, regular job offers really out of the blue. So why did they contact me? Well, if you want to learn more about how to get clients and job offers as a developer, check out this video from the card in the corner. But even as a summary, you just have to produce content, produce content and you will be respected in the marketplace. People will know what you have to offer and they will want to contact you and they will not care the least about whether or not you have some sort of a degree or even some sort of a certification. So really do your best, whether you are going to college or you are not going to college, but if you really have to even self-educate after graduating from college, it's uh, really a question to ask whether or not you need that college in the first place. Because if you don't self-educate after the fact, after graduating, you're still going to be left unemployed and without clients after a few years of graduation. So uh, I really do not think that college is something which you should attend or enroll in if you are really serious in being an app developer, especially if you want to freelance, because some companies, of course, they still have their processes that you have to have some sort of a degree, but those companies are slowly going away. And even big companies like Google and Facebook, they do not require degrees. So why should you even have one? So if you want to get educated in app development, even without the need to have a degree, Subscribe to this channel and also join the notification squad by hitting the bell button to make sure you grow your app development and flutter app development skills. Because here on Reso Coder, I am determined to provide you with the best app development tutorials and resources out there. Also, if you are not aware of it yet, there is an amazing flutter conference taking place in Warsaw, Poland this January or the next January 2020. It will be packed with awesome talks. I will be there. People even from Google will be there and it's really going to be an amazing two day conference. So if you want to meet up, if you want to learn more about this conference, go to FlutterEurope.dev. Link is also in the video description. Also check out Flutter.education to get a curated list of Flutter news and resources. I really select the best ones and over there on Flutter.education, link is also in the description, you can also subscribe to my mailing list to get those Flutter news and resources delivered right into your inbox every single week. If this video helped you with uh, the decision of going to college, dropping out, doing whatever, doing self-education, give it a like and also share it with our developers who will benefit from it too. And also be sure to hit the like button because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment if you have anything to say, if you think I'm completely crazy or if you even agree with me, leave a comment and see you in the next video.